So let's start by giving you the Maidstone United side who have also had a lot of changes themselves. They're going to play a 4-3-3, a 4-5-1 with Lee Wargan in goal, George McLennan at left back. Will to Haviland and Alex Finney will play centre-half with Seth Nana Tuamusi at right back. In midfield, it'll be Stuart Lewis and Jack Axman. Turgut on the left, Jamal Loza on the right, leaving Joe Quigley up top and Ollie Muldoon in behind. For the Daggers, as I said, two changes for them, which means Elliot Justin continues in goal. Liam Gordon, a left back with the experienced Gavin Hoyt, making his home debut again at right back. Alex Davey makes his debut at home at centre back alongside Will Wright. In midfield, we expect it'll be a three with Matt Robinson captain the side this year with Ben Nunn injured. He'll play alongside Harry Donovan and Harry Phipps, who's a recent signee playing against his former club, leaving Chetty Candy on the right, Lamar Reynolds on the left, and Elliot Remain back from his lone spell at Torquay last season, leading the line. Oh, as we get underway here, I think the Daggers will win. Gosh, dare I say, dagger them to win by two goals to one. I'm basing it on nothing more than hope today as the players jostle for position now the ball's whipped in it's got good pace towards the front post it comes off the Maidstone man it's a corner it was off his shoulder in the end I think from Twamusi stop the huddle as the Dagenham players break now it's a decent ball towards Wright who gets up but can't direct him Matt Robinson sprints out to the left hand side and manages to keep it in play whips it straight back into a good area remains there but uh, he can't direct it towards goal and despite his protest it's behind for a goal kick Lee Wargan in goal, who's left-footed, slices it clear over the halfway line. It's a good call from Davey, wins the header and sends it away. And Chetty Can, he's in behind his man here. He's only got one man in the box, it's Reynolds. Reynolds is coming across, but the keeper's going to get there first. Reynolds was just too far away in the end on the left-hand side, trying to get on the other side into the box. He made good ground there, trying to join the play with Chetty Candy, but in the end, a comfortable save for Wargan, who is as well. All the Maidstone men are pointing and shouting at each other, the ball's floated in, it's a decent ball but no one from Dagenham reads it, Phipps wins the challenge, it's a good header from Phipps and confusion in the area from Maidstone means it's not properly cleared, Lamar on the left hand side, Lamar Reynolds wearing 11, Jink and turn and gets past his man, brilliant, inside the penalty area, good defending in the end though, just enough from Blair Turgut, Lamar Reynolds says he had a hold of his shirt, he did but it was, it was prudent and sensible defending from the man, apart from that clear cut chance, it's the final ball, the final cross. There's just the missing link to the puzzle so far. As Dagenham again squeeze made so to win the ball back. And it breaks Carney for Lamar Reynolds. Matt Robertson goes down the left-hand side. Paxman's trying to track him. The cross comes in, takes the deflection, goes over everyone. And it's out of play on the far side for a Dagenham corner. And the pressure is mounting and mounting. And Dagenham are knocking at the door. They just have to push through it now, you feel. Will Wright steps forward and spreads it out to Reynolds. Gordon's going to try and get on the overlap here. Turgut doesn't go with him and Gordon gets behind him one man in the box is County takes a deflection and it's dealt with the front post by Winter and it's another corner this time on the near side Phipps moves Davey goes towards the far post remains there but it isn't properly clear Donovan tries to keep it alive and in the end Liam Gordon has to step in and does really well because he had to win the ball there and he does so really well and exchanges passes with County he tries to roll his man down the right hand side he keeps it in play Gordon's with him, he's a bit isolated, so he goes back and then stands a left footed cross over to Reynolds, who's just inside the penalty, a good first touch on his right foot, he needs to beat his man, he does, he goes down the outside, Reynolds, it's a great save by Wargan! A left footed drive, and now here come Maidstone on the break with Jamal Loza, this would be the ultimate sucker punch. Loza running at his man on the right hand side, he goes down to the dead ball line, he crosses it, it comes off of the first man, it's behind for a corner. But I said Dagenham are getting closer, and that is the closest they have come. He used to do that was Ollie Hawkins, who came on at half time for Dagenham. Uh, came on at half time for Portsmouth, the former Dagenham man on Saturday. As Remain wins the header, he's done superb in this first half. Elliot Remain. Reynolds, a bit isolated. Hoyt's in the back post, and Dagenham win another corner. No, he stays in just in play. Elliot Remain, chance to shoot, does it, deflects off the first man, and loops over behind for a corner. How close can Dagenham get here? Phipps goes right on top of the goalkeeper, Wargan. It's right towards the deep post. Right heads it back in towards a good area. It's looping over. It's a good save from Lee Wargan, who had to get up on his tiptoes and nod it over. Paxman picks up on a loose ball for Mato. He's scurrying around and tries to send the ball upfield and quickly. He's in behind here. Quickly gets away from Will Wright. Davies there on the right-hand side. He sets the ball to the edge of the box. And it's a goal for Maidstone. Blair Turgut scores out of nothing. It's the first shot on target that Maidstone have had. And in a similar fashion to last year, Dagenham concede with their first shot. It's 1-0 to Maidstone. Blair Turgut has it. 
41 minutes gone and that is so far against the run of play it's unbelievable it was a nice move from Maidstone's perspective but that's no consolation to Dagenham as Maidstone come forward again and they've got a chance here the ball's in behind it could be two here Turgut on his left foot shoots it's a great block excellent block in the end by Liam Gordon it's surely going to be the right foot of Reynolds it isn't it's Gordon who stands it towards the far post a goal for Dagenham no it's not I can't believe it's not gone in we've all been done <laughs> we've all been done because it was Will Wright at the far post and it looked for all the world it had gone in apart from it went the wrong side of the net completely against the run of play and this time it tries a reverse pass and R Reynolds picks up on a loose ball he goes on the outside inside the penalty on the left there's men in the box for Dagenham Reynolds goes past him brilliant from Reynolds shoots it's gone all the way across the face of goal and how Dagenham are losing it is unbelievable the Royal Reynolds has had a superb first half Gordon this time from the far side this is a good ball in it's punched again by Wargan and Paxman can partially clear but the referee blows for half time and we're back underway Dagenham kicking towards the Berry Road end took centre and are wearing their traditional home kit and goes out to the left hand side where Gordon can step over the halfway line he clips the ball forward as Matt Robinson makes a good run but it's just going to skid away I think and uh, if Dagenham kept it in play, I can't quite see the lines. Really. They have kept it in play. Dagenham attacking his Reynolds on the right-hand side. Checks back onto his right foot. Sets it for Donovan! Who shoots and goes wide? The people standing in the Berry Road end are saying, we don't care about the rain because they're, they're refusing to move. Lots of the people down there as it continues to stream down here as Maidstone break into the penalty area. It's a great, amazing run. It's a brilliant run. Quigley, it's hits the post. And it's thrown up, and it's fired in by Blair Turgut. After 50 minutes, it's Blair Turgut from the edge of the six-yard box. Joe Quigley was allowed to just walk into the Dagenham half, into the penalty area. One player, two player couldn't slow him down. He toe-poked it past Justin onto the post, and Justin finds himself having conceded two goals without making a save. Out on the left-hand side is Reynolds stepping over the ball running at his man he goes one-on-one -on -one now down to the touchline stands across up it's into the air it breaks for Davey Donovan God oh, it's saved flick just wide I think it was Donovan who's sliding in about on the penalty spot he got a good connection on it it went through the legs of Remain and credit to Lee Wargan who went down to his left to tip it round the corner We've got a long throw being wound up here by Alex Davey he sends it in it's not the best one it's flotted on and it's oh it's headed on by the substitute Shamir Mullings and it could have gone anywhere but the quickest react was Lee Wargan and it's straight into the arms of the Maidstone man as Mullins breathes a sigh of relief. He Mullins attacked it with real intent but just got underneath it. Which they think about taking to Robinson who goes down the line. It does indeed go to him. I still can't see who is he threw in the ball. It's the glare of the lights. Gordon drives into the air a chance to shoot if he wants. Instead he tries to cut it back. It bobbles all the way across. Goal! Candy's there and he hits the post! Liam, um, it's not easy listening but they're not playing badly, Dagenham. They're not playing badly. It's a new side with lots of new players, and they, they've done all right. They haven't been ripped apart. They've barely conceded any chances. They really haven't. Um, they haven't credited a hat for, but they've credited enough not to be losing this game 2-0. That is for sure, and they're on their attack now. Gordon stands a good ball in the box. Remain heads it on, and Elliot Remain has scored the first goal of the season with Dagenham and Redbridge. There's 10 minutes to go here. It's game on. And we'll take it quickly, which they do. Robinson on the left-hand side goes to Gordon back to Robinson lots of men in the box so Dagenham think about standing it up in the end they do it's whipped in it's looping it's, oh, it's tipped over the bar in the end here comes Turgut now one on one he knocks it past his man excellent pace from Turgut running away from Gavin Hoy can he make himself a hat-trick here and win this game he cuts inside Turgut shoots an excellent save from Elliot Justin it's pretty much straight at him one and expecting to make but wow that was good from Blair Turgut 94th minute still got plenty of running in him And uh, the referee, Chris Pollard, does indeed blow the full-time whistle here at the Chigwell Construction Stadium.